Good morning everyone. Today we'll be removing the front subframe from this 2006 Acura TL. Now, most of the parts that you need to remove you will see in this video. There are some things I just could not fit the camera and get the right angle. So because of that, I will list a, a detailed part list of what I removed from this vehicle to drop the subframe. The other thing is everything you'll see will, will pretty much be on the passenger side. Everything I did on the passenger side, I did the same thing on the driver's side. So that being said, if you'd like to watch this, uh, this journey as we get this car up and running, please click that bell. That being said, let's get the job done. joint removal tool. Now in my case, the lower control arm is just so thick that I can't slip this on. The other thing is right here is a splash shield and I can't, even if I try to maybe try to hook up the, the tool from the front of the arm, the splash shield is blocking it. Now the flip side is you can use something like this that has an adjustable both claws are adjustable, so what you can simply do, you can really fit it around any size control arm. And I'll come in for a different view in a moment. We just want to make sure that we're not snagging on the uh, lower control arm boot. Okay, so we're almost ready to rock and roll. Again, the claw is on the lower control arm, it's not snagging on that boot. And same on the other side, it's too tight for me to get the camera in there, but both ends are free and clear of the boot, and we can just go ahead and start turning this clockwise and have the ball joint simply be removed from its mount. So this is all that's left over of that subframe. Take a look at this, completely destroyed. So essentially this sits here on the lower control arm, and then you have a mount, 
that uh, connects to the body of the vehicle and you know what can you do completely sheared off now this is incredibly 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 light because it's obviously aluminum and this is steel so uh, if you don't know the story on this TL essentially a hydroplane hit a curb and the steel obviously was able to take the brunt and it just cracked the subframe uh, what a bummer let's keep going now before I start removing the bolts holding the front the side and the rear engine mount. I have this engine support bar holding everything in place. Now if you need a detailed explanation on how to install one of these, I'll include a separate link showing a video we just recently did showing on how we put this together. Now before we drop the subframe, I just wanted to triple check everything is free and clear. It looks like we're in good shape. I have a bungee here holding, this is the steering rack. Right back here, here's your steering tie rod. So I have a bungee on both ends, the driver and the passenger side, just keeping this in place. My main concern is if I miss a metal power steering line. Sometimes they're mounted to the subframes. Looks like I have everything clear. I'm slowly, very slowly lowering this. I'll just double check, make sure everything's clear. You look good. Let's keep going. Okay. Now what happened toward the end there, my finger, my pinky was holding this down and I just have to double check. This is actually for the hydraulic engine mount and I just have to make sure this is okay. Looks like it's alright but finally it's out. So there she is in all her glory. Now of course this was the point of impact right here when the vehicle hydroplane snapped it right off. The other thing I noticed is the front sway bar is certainly bent if you take a look from the top so we'll also need a sway bar it's actually pretty darn light this thing I can easily move this around myself uh, it's maybe 150 pounds at most I would say the other thing is I did as a safety precaution even though we have the uh, the engine support bar I did place a jack underneath just to give it some more support so until I get another subframe at least I have two uh, support centers in a sense and that's it. So the next time we see this vehicle, we'll be uh, installing the subframe. Any questions, comments, any way you would have done this differently, please leave uh, those uh, comments below. We'll see you next time.